everybody, it's Patty at La La Ra, and today I'm going to make a tabbouleh salad. And instead of using the traditional bulgur wheat that they usually use in the tabbouleh salad, I'm using sprouted quinoa because it makes it gluten-free, a raw, vegan dish. So let's show you what you need. First of all, I have the sprouted quinoa here. Can you see the little tails on there? I'm just gonna, a lot of people lately have been asking me about sprouting, and I need to make some sprouting videos in the future that are more detailed, but just to quickly run you through, what you need to sprout the quinoa, and quinoa sprouts really quickly, is you need a wide mouth jar, and then you need a screen. Now I bought these at Sprout People, they have the screen in them. I used to use a cheesecloth and a rubber band, but this makes it so much easier. And Sprout People has different sizes. So you just check out their website and pick these up. It's such a help. You'll love, love them. So you put your sprout, you put your quinoa in here. I put about a cup, usually comes up to about here. And then I use a filtered water up to about here. So like two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. So you let that sit for a half hour. Either you let it set to for about two, but you only need to let it soak for about a half hour. Um, I came home, I made this last night for this recipe today. So after two hours of soaking, I drained it and set, rinsed it a couple times because the quinoa gets kind of a soapy residue. So you want to make sure to rinse it until that residue is out. And then just sit it on its side in a strainer in a bowl. Now when you get up in the morning, you're gonna find that your quinoa has already sprouted. And you can let it sit all day and it'll sprout even more. I, I let mine sit all day on some paper towels so that it absorbs some of the moisture. And then when I was ready to make this recipe, I noticed that it had already sprouted even more. So it's very, very quick. But like I said, I'll be making more sprouting videos in the future and I don't want this video to run too long. So let's talk about ingredients. So we've got our sprouted quinoa. We're gonna take two cups of that. And it's like 100 degrees today. It's been so hot in LA. So if I look like I'm glistening, it's because I am. And then we need a half cup of red, to red onion, one cup of parsley, two cups of seeded Roma tomatoes chopped, two cups of cucumber seeded, one cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of cumin, a dash of cayenne, now that's just optional. I like everything to have a little bit of a kick, so it's up to you, and two, two teaspoons of sea salt. You know what, I'm gonna do one and, one and a half. And then we have juice of one half lemon. I'm gonna put this other one in here. And squeeze that in there. Try to get it in the bowl. You know what, that kind of squeeze out. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Okay. And then we're just gonna mix it. And that's it. A very light, refreshing, gluten-free, organic, vegan, raw tabbouleh salad. It's a lot to spit out. So there you go. Now you can serve this as a side dish on some crackers that you dehydrated or you can just eat it as main dish, like I like to do. Mm, it's really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now I'm chewing. Have a great day and tune in for more videos. Thank you.